Hello YouTube, this is Chastel from Statement PKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're finally going to be integrating uh, the OpenCV uh, library with the FullTech library, the FLTK. And as you can see here, you can see the three images. This is uh, created using uh, OpenCV and using FLTK. And you can see that there's, there are three images here. Uh, there's two images here uh, sharing the same space, and then there's this one here. This is uh, completely uh, resizable, and as you can see, it's completely flexible. So it's a, it's a very, very nice uh, thing to have for certain applications. Okay, how do we create that? Let's, let's go to the code. By the way, you can also go into my GitHub page here, uh, and the code is there. Uh, this code, I must give credit to uh, Vincent Crochet, uh, which he tweaked the code by uh, Blue Kid originally, uh, he may, uh, made. And uh, I got this uh, code from him, and I also tweaked it my own way, doing things that I wanted to do. So I, I must give credit. Uh, this is the uh, uh, our conversation that we had in uh, FLTK, uh, the Google Groups from FLTK. So that's where I got it from. I must give credit to him. And let's go back to where we were. I want to discuss the code here. Uh, what's happening in here? Let me show you. Okay, here the first thing we we're doing is we're importing the the uh, in, uh, libraries, uh, the header files that we need from the full tech library. We're we're including uh, the whole OpenCV.hpp. Uh, I know that it takes longer to compile, but I'm just being lazy. I mean, you can just uh, include whatever you're using instead of bringing in everything. But like I said, I'm just being lazy. You here you're including IO stream and you're including here the file that Vincent sent me. And if you wanna see what that is like is here in the full tech google groups okay uh, i didn't include it in github because it's not mine it's his so uh, but you know where to get it so join the images again i'm going to what's going on here the first thing we're, we're using namespaces we're using the standard and the open cv uh, namespace here we're creating names uh open cv the open cv style we're using the uh creating the matrices actually i want to change this so i don't want to confuse you so let's just change these instead of detected edges let's call it blur detected edges is more uh canny the canny algorithm so let's just call it blur and uh, change it here also. Blur. And change it here. Because if not, I want. I rather give a name that means something than something that it doesn't mean anything. Okay. So okay. So that's it. So here we're creating the matrices. Uh, we're creating a DST destination blur source image and source gray image uh this I, I was playing around before i don't even think i need it i might be wrong but i i don't think i do this is your main function here uh here you're creating this window right here this window right here the big window that contains all the images is all this window the big one and as you can see, it's resizable, and uh, you can also minimize it. Very handy. Uh, it's, you can, I don't think you can do certain things like this with with uh, with the one that the Haigui uh, provides, but I might be wrong. Uh, here you're creating these two images right here. You're creating the boxes. You're creating the 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 picture box where they're gonna go. So one of them is a hundred uh, 
on the x direction, the other one is 450, this is 100, this is 450, and then there are 350 by 350, that's what these mean, and then this one right here is this guy, so this guy is kind of in between these two, so as you can see it's 300, so it's 300 pixels, and then, uh, sorry, 300 pixels and then 400 pixels. It starts here in that corner right there. And then it goes 350 by 350, just like the other ones. Here, if you've been watching the other tutorials, you know what's going on here. And making it resizable, giving that ability. And here we go into the uh, OpenCV world. There's four lines here. Now you enter... OpenCV. Here you're creating the matrix. Actually, I'm creating it twice in my. I think I am. I think there's a there's a mistake right there. Um, but uh, don't. I'll correct that in my GitHub page. Um, you don't need this because. Uh, I have it there, so I had it in two places. And uh, also here you're reading your fruits image, which is this fruits image right there. So this is what this one is right there. And you're opening that one. You're opening with this one, which is that one right there. In this one, you're taking that image and making it a gray image, which is this source gray right here, using this algorithm. And then it takes that image and converts it into that, and that's what you see here, with the uh, reference pointer here, and it's creating the source gray image, which is that one. And finally, here, uh, you're creating Z, the blur image that we had, uh, where was it, right here, okay, so all it's doing is taking the gray image, it's taking this image, and it's blurring it, and if you've seen some of my videos, OpenCV videos, that I've created in the past, I go in detail uh, into the image processing filters, Sobel, blur, uh, Gauss, Gaussian. So, if you don't know what's going on here, I recommend that you watch some of those videos, uh, just to to you know to keep you uh, updated to what we're doing right now. And here, we're just updating the views, and here we're showing it. And I didn't mean to do that. I'm just showing it and then running it and then returning zero if there are any problems, C++ style. Okay, very nothing that you have not seen before. To run it, you got to run it. I got to show you this because if you don't do this, it's not going to run. I'm not using a CMake file. Uh, see, I'm not using CMake for these ones. I think it's just easier to do it uh, this way. Okay, there it is. You're using G++, the compiler. You're using the full tick config. GL, I'm not using GL, but I'm, I just entered, I put it there just in case uh, because I will be using GL in the, in the future. Uh, the name of the file, the C++ that you're uh, compiling. The header files is the C++ that I also got this one from Vincent. And the header file that I got from Vincent that I, Vincent, that I show you. Uh, full tick using images. Anytime you're using images in full in a full tick uh, library, you have to use this. Uh, the LD static flags. The package config C flags in introducing your open CV and then the name of your executable. So this is everything that is going on in this uh, uh, 
compilation. So once you have all that, you hit enter. And it's going to take a little bit longer because I'm including more stuff than I should have. So that's why it takes a little bit longer. But there it goes. It created it. And then I check it. And it's right there. And now I run it. And there it is. Okay. So you got your, your color your grayscale image, and your blur image. And I will show you a, a, a few other things uh, that you can do. With, this is very powerful because you can add any algorithm to, to I don't know how many lines of code, uh, very few lines of code that produces that. So you can see, look at that. So you can just by just uh, adding an algorithm, you can do all kinds of things. You can use Canny. You can use Hot, uh, the Hot Transform. You can use any of the algorithms available in OpenCV. That's why I wanted to show you this, uh, because of this can become very, very handy for certain applications. But we'll do those in, in a couple videos. Uh, for now, this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click uh, the like box, subscribe to my channel, follow me on GitHub and Twitter, and I will be seeing you next time with another great tutorial. Take care and have a great time. Bye-bye.